Jennifer Priest here, and I want to share with you today how to take a printable and turn it into a print and cut file on your Silhouette Studio software. So printables are super hot right now, and there's lots of free ones on the internet. You can buy them. And what I'm going to use today is a really fun three-piece printable set from 100directions.com. And this is designed by my friend Jen Goody and it's adorable and the beauty of turning it into a print and cut is that you can easily change the size of it and cut it out with your silhouette uh, machine whether you have a cameo portrait or the um, original what we're going to do is import it in here and then I'll show you how to cut it and resize it and one of the fun things that you could do is like say cut out big ones for your party decor and then cut out smaller versions to use like on the thank you notes from the party or even on your scrapbook page and so your scrapbook page embellishments will then match everything that's in your pictures as your decoration so it's really cool now this is a brand new silhouette studio uh, software this is version 3.0.343 so um, it's totally different than the old version but it works with your cameo your portrait and the original silhouette and silhouette SD machines so the first thing we're gonna do is select this little button here for design because we're going to be creating our own design we're not going to be using the store or the library or anything else like that now I already have my default set for the original cutting mat because that's the mat I'm going to use if you're using 12 by 12 or whatever mat you're going to choose that and then I have my paper size set for letter and that's because I'm printing this on my home computer which only prints letter size and smaller. Now the next thing you're going to do is import your file so I'm just going to click open and it's going to give me a bunch of options of what I can open and I'm going to be opening a JPEG. So what I did is I took these PDFs, most downloads come, or most printables come as PDFs. You're going to need to convert it to a JPEG either in Photoshop or using a free program you find online. Now just a warning, before you download those free programs online, do your research. I tried to download one to demonstrate to you um, that you can use a free program and it put malware on my computer. So. Uh, definitely do your research before you look for those free uh, PDF to JPEG programs and you might even uh, contact the person who made the printable and see if they'll convert it to JPEG for you if you don't have access to Photoshop or some other graphic design program that will do that conversion. Alright so I'm just going to choose one of these and um, get started. Now when you open the printable depending on the resolution it's going to be way too big so what's nice is that Jen has really great resolution on this but it's huge so you're gonna have to resize it and I just made it a little bit too small right here because what we want to do before we do any more editing is open the registration mark window up here on the right hand side the registration marks always need to be the image needs to not be interfering with the registration marks so what we're going to do is make sure that this is sized small enough that we don't have any interference with those registration marks. And basically this area that's kind of like blocked off, you don't want to have anything printed in there either because it can confuse the little optical um, reader that's on your cutting machine when it's trying to read. So all these little lines here that are in the background, those could be really confusing to the machine. So just don't have that in the printed area. All right, so now that I have my registration marks, I'm ready to trace. So I'm going to open the trace window up here on the upper right hand side. It is the sixth button from the right and I'm going to click on select trace area. So I'm just going to choose something to trace and I want to get as close to the edges of my item as possible. The reason is that this printable has a really cute like grid background. But the problem is that it's going to trace, the Silhouette Studio software is going to trace all those little grid pieces and I don't want that. So the closer I can get to the edges, the better because then I don't have to worry about um, as much editing. So I just click trace outer edge. I just want the outside. I don't want all the, the other extra stuff. So now I'm going to go in and do a little bit of editing. I'm going to zoom in. Um, just right here and that way I can kind of see what I'm doing a little bit better. Now the next thing I want to do is select my shape 
and click Release Compound Path. And so what that's going to do is it's going to make each of these little items a different um, item. It's going to be a different shape. The, the designer edition of this software has a really cool feature called layers. And basically layers um, allows you to select different pieces of something within it's it's a lot like Photoshop it's really awesome um, but if you don't have the designer edition you're just gonna have to select each little piece here that we don't want that's traced and delete that so it's a little bit of editing but if you think about it this really takes about as long as cutting this out by hand and instead of cutting it out by hand you're gonna whoops wrong thing you delete the wrong thing just click undo <laughs> um, and sometimes it's a little bit easier if you zoom in to get all these little tiny bits and pieces I'll have to do I have the designer edition on my other computer I'll have to do a video showing you guys that on my other computer um, but this is like the basics. so if you have your basic silhouette studio software this is how you do it you trace and then you delete the cut lines that you don't want and here's one of the things I kind of do to check is I'll just kind of grab and move my image and I can see okay yeah it's gonna cut the whole thing out now I have like a little snaggle tooth here I can go in and edit those points so here I'm just gonna click undo and it's gonna move everything back in so you'll just repeat that for each shape that you want to trace select the trace button click select trace area get as close as you can to the edges and then select trace outer edge and now you're gonna have to go in and then just uh, select your shape right click release compound path and then go in and delete all of your little pieces so what I'm doing here is I'm actually selecting it with my mouse and then I'm deleting it with the delete button on my keyboard and you'll notice here on the inside of this shape it kind of did some weird stuff so I'm gonna click edit undo I just like to move my image around so I can check that you can also email the person that created the file and ask them like hey is there a way that um, you can make this like outlined for me or something like that you can always ask people um, so here what you're gonna want to do is do point editing so you'll choose a point editing um, little icon and then just delete points that don't need to be there and that's gonna help clean this up so again it's a little tedious for some of it but once you have it done it's totally done you can resize it you can cut it over and over and over and at the end of the day it really takes less time than if you cut all of this out by hand so I hope that helps you once you've um, gotten everything done you'll go ahead and send it to your printer to uh, print it's gonna print your registration marks in the corners and then you'll run it through your silhouette and it will cut wherever you have your cut lines. Thanks so much for tuning in and I hope that you found this super helpful. Mm -hmm.